Oh man, every day I'm like, right, I'm not spending any more money on this game this year. I'm not doing it. I'm, I've spent enough. And then the next thing happens, we've got Misk hosting the show. And they've got things like the Odyssey, this ship, which um, obviously I've gone and bought, and the Endeavor. Oh, there, and there, there's even more like uh, the Hull E, Hull D. There's so much stuff from Misk that I absolutely love. And I keep justifying it to myself saying, well, you know, I'll be able to make money with utilitarian ships. <sighs> I have a problem. Guys, drop a like on this video. <laughs> I appreciate all the likes. Anyway, so today is Misk Day. Tomorrow is going to be huge because it's um, RSI Day, which uh, we're obviously going to get to see... Which hall am I in? Zenith. We're going to get to see the beautiful galaxy in some sort of a concept thing, uh, which I'm really excited about. I think that's going to be awesome. Uh, interestingly, I was reading the comments of the recent uh, Inside Star Citizen video about the galaxy, and there was quite a lot of negativity. Um... Not about the ship. Everybody loves the ship. I don't think anyone's looking at the ship going, man, that's a terrible piece of work. No, the ship looks incredible. But I think there was like on the Reddit, but there's a lot of people that were like, oh, there's so much backlog. And I was like, yeah, but I still want to buy it. <laughs> I'm part of the problem is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's have a look what we got here. Ooh. Okay, so three hauls today. Nice. Oh, man. I'll, I'll be like, hang on, let me just turn this down. I feel like the music in this hall is, like, far too loud. There we go. i got, I got to be honest. I absolutely love Miss Ships. They have a really nice, you know, industrial design. But it's kind of, like, friendly industrial. It's kind of cool. Oh, my words. This thing is literally not even on the floor. This is the Hull A, um, which is an incredible ship. That expands and is like one of, the, well, it was the newest ship in like a new line of ships, uh, which we'll get onto in a minute, I'm sure. But it's just a really cool ship that expands. Um, if you want to go and watch a video on that, I do actually have one. Then we have the Starfarer, which I believe is the most complicated ship in the game. <laughs> I've tried. Okay, so as far as I know, this ship was designed a long time ago. And, um, then, yeah, because it, like, does it refuel you? Is that, is that the vibe? Is that what we do here? Yeah, there's a little, like, thing at the end that people can re- You can refuel ships, which is really handy when it comes to pyro. But, um, the interior is so complicated. I remember looking at this in the last event, which wasn't IAE. It was, um, the military show. I think back in March or whenever it was. And, um, no, I can't have been March. I don't know where it was. It doesn't matter. But I went inside and I literally got lost for an hour. So if you want my advice, chat, do not <laughs> go inside this ship. I believe it's getting reworked. Um, but yeah, just don't do it. And then we've got the humble, beautiful prospector with arguably the best visibility of any ship in the game. Just look at all that glass. Oh, it's such a good position. Like... It even even see down here. It's great. It's a great ship. So it's a mining ship, if you don't know. And uh, yeah, you can earn like a good amount of in-game money with this ship. So definitely, if you like rent it for free, mine for 48 hours and, uh, you know, earn some money. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the concept hall, which I'm super hyped about. Oh, there's going to be so many ships down here that I'm like upset about seeing because they're not in the game yet. Ooh. Damn. So, I touched on it yesterday, but racing in this game is going to absolutely just be huge. And these racing ships, the Razor EX, the Razor LX, the Razor, they're so cool. They're honestly, like, when you sit inside, can I sit inside? CIG, if you're watching, take this feedback. I don't know if anyone else agrees, agrees with me. Let me know in the comments. But let me rent it here, right? Put a little sign up on the top of it saying rent here, right, if you need to. But let me just use like this accidentally hitting rent all the time is kind of annoying so if you want my suggestion it would be to on these displays have the renting thing there that's just my thought on it as well also it would slow down everybody renting the ship at the same time and server issues anyway i digress that is kind of a weird suggestion i don't know if anyone actually agrees with me on that or not 
is such an awesome racing ship. Like, they've, like, absolutely nailed, in my head, racing of the future. And I'm so excited for the racing racetracks. The racing racetracks? The racetracks coming in the next patch. So, expect to see a lot of videos of me sort of crashing and <laughs> taking on racetracks. It's going to be great. But yeah, really cool. They even got some uh, firepower on there. So, cool little snub ship to go and attack people with as well. Love it. On this side, what do we have? Just seating area. Right, let's go and see our oh, future here. Oh my word, this is so cool. Look at that. Is, there, is this the sea? Oh, it is. So, the, okay. Number one, I actually own this ship. And number two... I think this is actually doing quite well in development pipeline. I'm not sure if it's finished or near completion. Um, maybe people let me know in the comment section. But basically, it's a huge cargo hauler. So we're going to go space trucking. And I think, from what they were saying in a recent Inside Star Citizen, is you're going to be able to walk through the middle tunnel into the back bit, which the Hull A doesn't do. But that is super exciting, and I'm really hyped to actually fly that and earn some money, do some videos on it. The only thing I don't understand is landing. I guess you don't land with it. You ha it's all space station based, because... <laughs> Unless some huge legs come out of the bottom. I don't know. But that's interesting. I love that. What's next? Oh, okay. I made a tweet about this, and it was one of my most liked tweets. I was basically saying how much I want the Odyssey, and this is it. It basically does a bit of everything. There's a really good video on it. It has a hangar. It is just a big, bulky, you know, multi-role, multi-crew ship. That is exploration. What does it actually say its role is? Exploration, yeah. So, super awesome ship from misc and i have definitely ordered one of these i've purchased this so hopefully that comes out soon let me know in the comments curious for you star citizen veterans when you think this will be arriving best estimate and don't be sarcastic and say 10 years because that really annoys me but like a good educated guess All right next up we've got oh this is a cool the expanse so i think this was actually announced fairly recently and for the longest time i got it confused with the staff era because I don't know, maybe it's the saddlebags or something, but it kind of looks fairly similar. It's kind of like quite chunky, round head at the top here, and then the saddlebags at the back. Kind of reminded me of that, but looking at it, it is quite different, actually. But the idea would be, I think, is as the prospector, which we saw before, you would drop off saddlebags, and then this would be able to process what you've mined, as far as I know. So it's a really good... Um, economy ship, um, yeah, refining, so it'll refine the materials. Normally you have to take it to a space station, but if you can do it yourself, I guess that will save a lot of time, which is quite cool. And then finally, aha, the Endeavour, which I guess I don't usually do this in these videos, um, but we'll look at the website in a minute, but this is the Endeavour, and I don't know if this is the first time we've seen it in a concept like this. But man, it looks kind of huge and ridiculous. It looks cool. But the th cool thing about the um, Endeavor here is it has different modules. And we'll look at that in a little bit. But um, yeah, super awesome. Well, it's a heavy science ship, isn't it? Science, yeah. This is another ship I've ordered. FYI. Oh, it's Weird Hat Guy. Wait, where'd he go? He disappeared. There was definitely Weird Hat Guy back. <laughs> That was weird. Oh, man. What I should say, by the way, is if you don't want to spend real money on this game, you kind of don't have to. Um, obviously, you have to buy a base package for, like, $40 or whatever it is. But the real, like the truth is, you can just earn the ships in-game. You don't have to buy them. I think people get really caught up on the fact that you have to buy them or think you have to buy them. You don't. You can just earn them in-game. Um... So yeah, just bear that in mind when you're making purchase decisions. <laughs> I wish I could take on that advice, but I'm just an awful person. So yeah. On to the next haul. Alright. Ah, these ships are so cool. I love these. Oh man. So these are the Reliance and they're super awesome because they kind of do a really cool twisty thing. I'll have to... Wow. Well, 
Man, it's kind of annoying. I guess I'll try and find a clip of where I'm using it, or I'll just, like, show you on screen right now of a clip that I've made. But basically, the really nice, awesome thing about these ships is they're very futuristic, and they have a really unique animation. I thought these ships were actually awesome. Um, I don't see a lot of them in the game, but um, they're quite good fighters. Uh, you can load some vehicles in the back of them. And, um, yeah, it's a pretty good early on ship. It's got habitation, it's got, you know, some really good things. The only problem, right, with this ship, and it is a problem, <laughs> is when currently, I don't think this is going to stay like this, but when you sleep in it, log out, and log back in, at the moment you can see you can kind of get to your cockpit, right? So no problems there. But what happens is, <laughs> when the ship rotates so the wings go up up and down rather than across like this um you can't get into the cockpit and when you wake up it's in that state so you kind of wake up stuck in the ship unable to um get in the pilot seat so a little bit weird there but this one here with the yellow color scheme kind of kind of a personal favorite honestly kind of a cool vibe i just love the color of it honestly it's kind of nice <laughs> it works really well. Noise. But yeah, different variants here. Um, I would definitely rent these and check them out because they're a really unique ship. And they do quite a lot for their size, so that's pretty neat. Alright, so... Oh, the Freelancer line! <sighs> so, honestly, these ships here are total sleepers in the sense that I don't think they're as popular as they should be. I think it's because they're kind of weird, curvy nature. I don't think they look as, um, quite as cool as, like, RSI ships, for example, which are very sort of angular and stuff. I feel like these freelance ships are not as, um, not as good looking. But this one here, the Miss, the, uh, MIS, or the Miss, I don't know how to pronounce it, but, um, it's the military version. And oh my word, this thing is an absolute beast. You've got quite a lot of missile firepower. You got low, woo, the turrets, the firepower. It's a really good um, ship, actually, for dealing a lot of damage. It's quite a durable ship as well. So if you want to do some more heavy-duty combat, this is actually a really good ship to consider because it has a lot of firepower. It's pretty good. You can load it up pretty nicely. And then you've got the Max, which I kind of love, both for its orange paint. <laughs> Argo vibes, for sure. But, just the sheer amount of room inside. Kind of redonkulous. Look at that. Plenty of room. And then you've got... I don't actually know which one this is. This is the... The Durr. Which uh, looks really odd. <laughs> Goes faster, maybe? I actually don't know the, the... What is the specialty with this one? Expedition. Oh, so this is an exploration variant. Okay, cool. Kind of an interesting, unique color scheme on it as well. Yeah, exploration ship. And then you've got just the standard edition, right? The Freelancer. Which has a pretty nice... I love the I love this chrome on ships. You guys know this. I'm a huge fan of anything in chrome. Uh, but yeah, plenty of storage space. Good, reliable ship. Quite fast. Travels far. Decent firepower. Yeah, it's a good ship. It's good stuff. Right, let's go and take a look at the old website where I want to talk to you a little bit about some stuff. Oh man, juicy little trailer for Misk here. Love it. Good stuff. Oh. Um, anyway, so let's take a look at the pledge store. And <laughs> for one thing, I know a lot of people have been saying it's available, but I always seem to be missing it. Cracking. Sad times. Hull E, huge variant of the whole series, sold out as well. Um, Endeavour, a pioneer, sorry. Another one I've missed. Just sad times all around. Sad times all around. Uh, let's just sort this by price. And go down to... Where is it? So, the Hull E, yeah, sold out. Odyssey. Oh, I've wanted this ship since I looked at it. And I watched the video on it. I'm so happy I've got the opportunity to buy it now, and uh, that's in... I've got an expensive JPEG currently, which I'm very excited about. Um, 
<laughs> and then you've got the whole D here, another big uh, cargo hauler, and then the Endeavor, whole C. So I've actually bought this one, which is kind of cool. So this is obviously what it looks like um, retracted. You know, that's a that's a bloke stood there. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, but this is what we're all here for, the Endeavor. And I know this is going to be... I'm just scrolling to see what else there is. I know the Endeavor is going to be incredibly popular with a lot of people. Because it's a modular ship and you can add components and stuff. So, the cool thing, if you don't know, now that you can do is add components and add-ons. So, you can see here we've got the Endeavor Biodome pod for £100. So, what does this do? So... Expands on the galaxy, there will always be a need for most basic elements to sustain it. The Endeavour biome pods were designed to support ongoing agriculture. So this is like farm simulator in space, which if they do that gameplay, that's kind of rad and awesome. And then you've got you've got loads of others. You've got landing pod. Okay. I swear there was like landing pads. Med pod, research pod, science pod. Telescope pod. Ooh, let's have a look at that one. Telescope. Tele extremely powerful. Where was it? Observatory. Interesting. That would look super sweet. That's neat. But this is like proper modularity. You're like actually specking out a ship yourself, right? Crew pod. This is only £25. So actually we've got a... Why does it... Why does it do this, by the way? This is a terrible web interface right now. Who are like... You've got so much funding and you can't get a basic image thing working. So we've got a fuel pod, generic research pod, service equip service equipment and crew pod, general science pod. Okay, cool. Multi-purpose pods. So they kind of do different things. This is a crew pod. So, okay. So it kind of shows you all of them, but that's the one you pay for there. Um... But yeah, I swear there was a landing pad pod, kind of like Kraken style, but I guess you're just going to have these hangers instead. I don't know. Let's download the image. So, let's try and work this out. So that goes underneath, I'm guessing. Not entirely sure. But that's £76. But yeah, let me know what you think about this in terms of modularity, because obviously you're paying for the ship, and then I guess by default, what? It doesn't come with any? Does it actually say? Let's have a little look on the old Endeavor page. So it's 357. And it doesn't say it comes with any pods. Is that? Is, I'm guessing there's like a package. Wait, no. Ship upgrades. Um, game packages. So is there an Endeavor package? Oh, here we go. It is here. Right. Misk Endeavor, yeah, so now you've got the, um, right, let's download this image. This is the most up-to-date image I think I've ever seen of the Endeavor. So these are the pods, right? So you attach the pods halfway through, so you'd have a couple. I actually don't know how, it looks like you can fit maybe three in each Endeavor. I don't know if it <laughs> extends. <laughs> That's interesting. That's cool. I like that. Alright, so for a thousand pounds, you get the ship, right? And then you get the super collider, medical bay, telescope, lifetime insurance, research lab, service equipment, and crew. Uh, the bio... <laughs> the bio dome. Bio dome, fuel pod, landing, science. So you basically get all of the pods. Okay. That's cool. That's a cool way of selling it, I suppose, rather than having to pick and choose. But again, I don't think I know how many pods I can use. And I'm assuming, like, once I've attached the pod, I'm not stuck with that pod, you know? I don't know. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Tomorrow is a huge day. So look forward to that. And um, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.